not already shuffled. And we'll be taking a look at the recent at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll find out what's coming up for the two of you. We'll take a look and see what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll find out what the outcome is. So Pisces, the recent past energy between you and your person, Page of Cups, ends with the Page of Swords. Now, the Page of Cups is showing that there could be a need to play, to dream, to have a little fun. When this card appears, it can sometimes mean that you've been taking yourself way too serious. There was a poet or a writer that once said, the one thing that I've learned over the years is the difference between taking one's work serious and taking oneself serious. The first is imperative, and the second can be a disaster. You have to know the difference. Page of Cups is with the Page of Swords. Now, the Page of Swords can sometimes stand for an actual person in your life. If this is the case, it could represent a person who's younger than you. Yeah, because when you hear the word page in the tarot, that can indicate a student, youth, and maturity. Or, like I said, someone younger than you. It, it can also indicate that there's a message coming in. Now, in this, in this instance, it's probably not what you're hoping to hear. The Page of Swords, it tells us that this person, they could be trying too hard, pushing too fast, or it might feel like they're stepping on your toes. So, you might need to study their body language and consider how well you do or do not accept constructive criticism. The Page of Swords can have a great deal of mental and physical energy. Yeah. Page of Swords can be about conflict, someone that brings conflict also. So basically, Pisces, recent past energy, Page of Cups, clarified by Page of Swords. So the message that I'm getting for the recent past energy between you and your person is that a lot of you Pisces, you're dealing with someone who's younger than you. They could be younger than you by a, a few weeks, a, a few days, a few years. I don't know, should I say a few decades? Maybe, could be. But this person this person helps you to, to um, have fun, to remember that life should not be taken so serious. Yeah, this is one of the reasons why you like this person. Because you have a lot of fun with them. They remind you to loosen up. Yeah, let go and have a good time. This person is a lot of fun. A lot of fun, this Page of Swords. Now, keep in mind, like I said, the Page of Swords can bring conflict. Like, they'll do silly things. They can be immature, but you really like the fact that this person... You have a lot of fun with this person. And for a lot of you, it's helpful for you because some of you Pisces kind of take life or kind of take situations too serious, or you take things really hard. So this person helps to loosen you up. So let's move on over. Let's see what's coming up for the two of you. We have the Seven of Wands, and it's with the Ten of Cups. Now the Seven of Wands, you can find that in any sort of competitive situation that you come out on top, 
things should get things should be going well. You should be feeling good. Any projects that you have, they should be moving right along. You still could have some regular moments of self-doubt, but it's actually the time to feel the fear and do it anyway. Also, don't hesitate to make where you stand clear to people because your thinking is going to be clear. And you could likely help someone out by spelling things out for them. Also, this Seven of Wands, it can point towards being independent and thinking for yourself. Now, so the Ten of Cups, which is another of the most uplifting cards in the tarot, it points to happiness, perhaps in a more mature, grown-up kind of way. It's a really, really good card in the deck. The Ten of Cups, it speaks of a happy family life, even if you're single. And to the overall well-being that goes beyond you, yourself, to include those that you're most concerned about, your parents, siblings, children, your pets, and much more. You could also be spiritually fulfilled when you get the Ten of Cups. It's a good card to see regardless of any question. Yeah, everyone wants the Ten of Cups in a reading. And Pisces, you've got it here. So, what's coming up? Seven of Wands, clarified by this Ten of Cups. So, yeah, this is nice. Your person wants to be the last man standing with you, Pisces. They want to win the connection with you. They want to come out on top. And how you could start to feel is that you could start to feel like your person is a dream come true. That's what the Ten of Cups can be about. Um, yeah, when you get the Ten of Cups, and if you're worrying about the relationship, it's an indicator that you really don't have anything to worry about. Because you and your person, you're on the same page. Ten of Cups is beautiful, absolutely. So, happiness. Everything's going well when you get the Ten of Cups. Yeah, commitment could be around the corner. When you get the Ten of Cups, it could be coming in. Um, yeah, it's coming in with the Ten of Cups, actually. So, don't sabotage anything. Don't cause any problems where there really aren't any. Pisces, Ten of Cups is beautiful. And your person, they want to win. They want to win you. They want to win the connection. They want to be the last man standing. Yeah, and you see your person has a dream come true. That's how you should be feeling, or if you're not feeling that way already. So let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. We got the Hermit. And it's with the Emperor. Now the Hermit, it can be a spiritual card. It could have something to do with institutions, large organizations, everything from a bank to an entire Christian church. It's kind of like the Strength card in the Tarot. You could be in the frame of mind that you want or need some time alone. Don't be afraid to take it. Even if it's just a five-minute walk around the house so that you can clear your head, this can be a spiritual card. Yeah, it can be a spiritual card. So you might be trying very hard to do the right thing, but you want to make sure that doing the right thing Includes doing what's right for you personally and not just worrying about the wants and needs of others. Now, it's with this emperor. The emperor shows that domination over the mind, over the heart, is sometimes necessary even though it's not wanted. In fact, in fact, it should be welcomed. And that's what you have to think about when you get the emperor. Because when hard choices need to be made, it's important to maintain your focus. 
maintain your concentration. Well, the Emperor signals this, but he also signals that now is a time you'll find it easier to make hard choices. So enjoy the assertiveness, enjoy the confidence that the self-control and focus brings. Forge ahead, do what you know is best, because if you can master yourself, then you'll have very little problems mastering most of the other obstacles that life can throw at you. So you're probably asking, well, what does that mean? Well, the emperor is a type that only uses his head and not his heart. Yeah, the emperor does not want to come across as being vulnerable. They could be a leader, boss, maybe really arrogant. Yeah, but the, the emperor does not open up their heart. So your challenge, Pisces, the hermit clarified by the emperor. So what I'm getting, the message I'm getting is that because you're dealing with, with a page of swords, someone younger than you, someone who might be immature at times, Someone who might like to stir things up, cause some conflict. Someone who could feel like they're stepping on your toes at times. <laughs> some, you might be dealing with someone that's, like I said, on the immature side. They could be younger than you. Maybe by decades, who knows. But anyway, you might feel like you need a break. Yeah, from the challenge of dealing with someone like a page of swords. But you do enjoy this person for the most part. Like I said, you like that they open you up. They, they teach you how to have fun. You like that you have a good time with this person. But it looks like you might want some alone time. You might want to withdraw. You might feel like withdrawing from them for a little while. Just to clear your mind, get rid of some baggage. That's what the hermit does. And your person, they might feel like you're closing off from them. Yeah, they might feel like you're, you're not opening up. You're closing off your heart. They could feel like you're going cold on them. So you, you might cause your person a little, some concern or worry. Yeah. They're going to think that you're going cold on them. Because you just, you just want some time alone. And maybe they're not used to that. So why don't we move on over? Let's take a look at the final and see what the outcome is. Well, we got this Ten of Swords, and it's with the Empress. Now, the Ten of Swords, it's a signal to be careful about where you put your trust when it comes up in relation to a question as to whether you can believe what a person is telling you or trust that a situation is stable. Well, it's a pretty clear answer of no. However, keep in mind, Whenever a door closes, another door opens, you're being guided to a situation that's better for you. So trust yourself. Trust the universe. Now it's with the emperor. Not the emperor, the empress. Oh, wow, I just noticed. We have a true pair. The emperor and the empress. I just noticed the true pair. So there's probably, there could be a lot of chemistry between you and your person. Or it could feel like a really good connection. A true pair. Emperor and the Empress. I just noticed that. Okay, so back to the outcome. The Empress. The Empress just know that she does not play by the rules. She has her own way of doing things, her own idea of what is right and what is wrong in any and all endeavors. 
But keep in mind, this does not mean that she'll always get her way. But she's a reminder not to ignore your creative and intuitive side. It's about coming abundance. But don't make the mistake of thinking that that will always mean financially. Because there's many types of wealth, many types of riches in life, and money is only one of them. But the Empress can encompass any or all of them. Yeah, the Empress can actually have it all. So Pisces, the outcome message, the message that I'm, I'm getting with this Ten of Swords clarified by the Empress for you and your person. Well, the outcome is, is showing that, like I said, I keep going back to this page of swords for some reason. It shout, this card is shouting out a lot to me in this reading. So the outcome is, so, is showing that one of the reasons why you want to want, you, you want to go into hermit mode, like I said, to clear your mind, get rid of some baggage, and this energy that the page brings, it probably can sometimes drain you. Maybe emotionally and physically. Um, page can be a bit much sometimes. Especially when they feel like they want to bring some conflict. So, c c coming up the outcome is showing that you might have thoughts in your head. Thoughts in your head might pop up that you might start to think that the connection may not be stable. You don't trust that it, it... You might start to feel like you're not trusting that it's going to be stable. With the Page of Swords. Probably because of their immaturity. Yeah, so those are some... Those are thoughts that might pop up in your head. But it's with the Empress, though. So, Pisces, I, I'm getting that a lot of you are dealing with someone that's good to look at. You like the way this person looks. You're very attracted to them. Yeah, because the Empress can be about deep love. It can be about a potent time for love where you could find a lot of people all of a sudden finding you far more attractive, both in terms for friendship and romance. So, yeah, you might start to, you might feel like you're starting to catch feelings for this person. And you're drawn to them because they, they look good. This person is eye candy. Yeah. Something really good to look at. Or they could be feeling this way about you, but what I'm getting is for most of you Pisces, this person is very attractive. Yeah, and you like you like looking at this person. And you're starting probably starting to catch feelings for them. So your mind is probably um, starting to make you question the connection. Because you're dealing with, like I said, someone that could be on the silly side sometimes. But you enjoy this person. You have a lot of fun with them. So Pisces, that's your reading. Oh, I'm having really bad allergy attacks. It's hard for me to to breathe. But thanks for getting through this reading with me. Sorry for the heavy breathing, but that's what happens when you have allergies sometimes. But Pisces, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. And again, if you like the reading, please comment. 
subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading, where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Pisces, I'm going to say it again. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. It's going to pass. We'll all get through this, so stay strong. Take good care of yourselves. Please come back and join me for the next Pisces reading, just in case this does not resonate. Maybe the next reading will. Also, keep in mind the roles can be switched. Yes, they can be reversed. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a friend, a family member, a situation, a co-worker. So just take the reading for however it resonates. Because like I said, these are person these are not personal readings, they're general readings. So yeah. So just take it for however it resonates. So Pisces, I can never say it enough. I'm gonna say it again. I thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I'm wishing all of you happy holidays. I hope to see you at the next reading and take care.